Texas State University is putting diversity and inclusion to the forefront as it accepts submissions to rename two residence halls and two streets on its campuses. KV's Danisha Heron spoke with a professor who has a hand in making this happen. The words equality and representation matters have echoed around the country this year, triggering changes like Austin City Council working to rename assets with ties to the Confederacy. And right down the highway, Texas State University is taking submissions to rename some of its buildings and streets after distinguished Latino or black alumni. The university has been tremendously diverse for a long time. Now we're really putting forth a concerted effort to make sure that um, everyone feels welcome, everyone feels honored. Scott Bowman is an associate professor and co-chair of the Naming Task Force. He said the university is accepting submissions until the 31st to rename Angelina and San Gabriel residence halls at their main campus and two unnamed streets at the Round Rock location. So it could be um, a family member that sent four or five kids to Texas State. You know, it could be um, any of those kids, it could be a distinguished alumni, it could be anybody. And so um, if they've had an impact um, it, at Texas State University, including our Round Rock campus, uh, we would absolutely encourage you to um, submit their names. Bowman said making sure the diversity on campus is reflected in their environment is a task they have been addressing for the past few years. From the president down, um, there's a Council of Inclusive Excellence, which includes about uh, 30, 35 um, different entities on campus to, to uh, determine that um, there is and, and to plan and execute um, diversity and inclusion initiatives. The committee will meet next year to decide which names will be chosen. Darren Isha Heron, KVU News. And if you'd like to submit a name for the renaming of those two halls and streets, you can find this story right now on our website, kvu.com.